and this morning if you're in Australia so um, today I just a lot of people have been asking for meal prep ideas but you know with me I always want to give you bang for your buck so I was thinking <clears throat> meal prep same amount of meat ground beef we're using this time and um, how can we do things so that it is super easy and therefore if you're thinking about um, meal prepping but you're not sure you think it's going to take the whole day I'm going to show you that it really doesn't and if you're cooking every night then that means you're actually wasting your time that being said let's get into it um, I could just get something to cut that open. Let's get into this recipe now. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you this pack. Um, I, I chose to use um, lean, what's it? Um, to lean mince or, or ground beef with 10% fat but there are other ground beef that you can get a much higher fat uh, percentage um, I'm just going to prefer in this occasion to add my fat so um, it's exactly all of these are exactly 500 grams each all right so now that you've got your uh, packs of meat you need seasonings please check the description box i've just done a few typical ways that you can flavor your ground beef but there are so many so many other flavorings that you can do and also like i got these containers right you can, if you're planning on, um, say you're making a um, carnivore mac and cheese, for example, you can prepare right in here, <laughs> you can, um, or say, for example, a casserole. You know, you could prepare everything right in here, and I'll show you one. Um, for example, <laughs> we are going to do the curry. Let's do the curry for now. So... Um, if you're carnivore, obviously you wouldn't add any vegetables, but uh, normally like I do a balanced a balanced sort of keto um, So I would normally add like a third cup of onions in here um, just for flavoring, but um, I have in this bowl one teaspoon of curry powder one teaspoon of garam masala um, one teaspoon of cilantro or coriander powder um, and a half teaspoon of salt. Just going to add that all and then um, let's grab some spoons because I also need to add my garlic and ginger. So I love how these spoons match those spoons and I don't think that's an accident. Nothing is an accident. Everything's planned. <laughs> a teaspoon and I'm going to do a teaspoon of crushed ginger as well. Let's get that off a bit more level. Alright, and now I'm just going to add my ground beef into that, moving the paper. While I'm mixing this up, let's have a roll call. If you're new here or even if you're not, say hi, let us know where you're watching from and yeah. Okay, well I've got a few to do. <clears throat> so here we go. This one's especially for Auntie Chris. Oh, hello, Auntie. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the thing, thing, thing is yeah. This, this one is for Mrs. Henderson. Mwah. Mwah. Hello, Mom. And this is for Becky, who always asks oh, if I'm going to make the bread. So hi, hello. Becky. Okay. Now, and I finished clowning around. 
So, that was Becky, Auntie Judy, Ella is here. Well, Ella was here. Ella, hello. And she's going to watch the replay tomorrow. Hello, Ella. The chef is hello, here. Hello, chef. How are you doing? The, the camera, but big thumbs up for chef. Nice to see you back, big brother. Big thumbs up, yes. How's Ruth is here. Hello, Ruth. <laughs> we have Deborah Bremer. Hi, Deb. How are you doing? <laughs> Those who don't know, Ruth is the keto mama. Yes. My sister from another mister, Danielle Graves. Danny. Kerry Whitbread. Oh, hello, Kerry. How oh, are you? Also doubles as Kelly Whitbread. <laughs> oh. uh, Mary Ann is here. Hello, Mary Ann. How are you? Susan is here. Hello, Susan. Yay. Melbourne mischief maker Michael Rosenau Michael is here. Michael Rosenau. <laughs> uh, Patty Dixon. Hello, Patty. How are you? <laughs> Danny Mizrahi, Danny who says, Mizrahi. wow, that's a lot of beef, where did you get it? Danny, we got it from Coles, Coles. which is a supermarket, so yeah, I guess it's like a... a common supermarket chain, yeah. like that's in everywhere in Australia. Yeah. Um, but I reckon, I mean, you could get 500 grams of beef anywhere, you know what I mean? And like the initial planning it does take a little bit of planning when you're going to meal prep you have to make sure that you've got everything that you need to make your um, ground beef really delicious according to your taste so of course with my uh, seasonings they're the basic 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 and it's open the the ingredients are open for you to make adjustments if you like spicy curry add another teaspoon or so of chili powder you know and so forth but this is going to yield a very mild curry by the way um anyway couple couple more couple. jojo johnson is in house yay hello jojo uh, hello to mr jojo as well hello shirley. how's the foot <laughs> yes shirley millar is here mm, hello shirley Susan's finally glad to be back for a live. We're oh, glad to have you back. Yes, we missed you. Becky says, I was not aware we need that much meat. I only took out one pound. That is fine, Becky. Um, it's just Mel's doing some one, one pound is 500 grams. That's exactly how much you need. But in this instance, because you only have one pound, right, just pick your favorite herbs. Um, and yeah, uh, I should really, I think I did say that you know if we're using 500 grams for each uh recipe but i don't know if it was ambiguous so i'll check that I, my apologies anybody else yes um i'm just trying to uh lots of people are talking to each other which is really nice yes uh chef says where's the beef on mel's cover i think where's the beef correct me if i'm wrong people but it's an old I want to say Wendy's. Wendy's. Like an old Wendy's commercial. Right. That says, where's the beef? But yeah, see if I'm right. Uh, Keto Mama says, I'm a spicy girl. Yes. <laughs> so make your adjustments in other words. Yeah. Michael says, Chris is the accident enough. Ah, see, Becky, uh, Becky said, is Chris making his cameo? So I've already done it. Yes. My South Australian sister is here, Michelle Weir. Good morning, Mel and Chris and others on this side of the planet. I made it to the live this weekend, yeah. Yes, you did, and we're glad that you're here. Yes. Angie Hofstadler. <laughs> Angie. Jay Rugoff. Jay. Yes, kisses to you, Jay. <laughs> Chef says, hey, brother and sister. Angela Diaz is here. Uh, hello, Angela. Thank you for making it. Becky All says, <laughs> I like your bouncy hair, Mel, and the top. Very nice. Bouncy, bouncy, <laughs> bouncy. It suits you down your ground. <laughs> And Mom H says, where's the beef, Wendy's? Here we go. And Judy Duran, Auntie Judy, we missed you. Um, I'm not sure what happened to you this week, but I'm going to get serious from <laughs> Auntie, so, Auntie Judy's here. Is she? Yep. I didn't hear her name. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, I've been waiting for your name. <laughs> I uh, said it right at the start, Auntie Judy. Oh, thank God. Hello, Auntie Judy. Anyway, let, let, let's go. I'm ecstatic that you're all you all here to see this, and I know, like, if you leave this plane, it's gonna be carnivore, right? Because I, I'm pretty sure carnivore allows spices, but 
you could make so much with this you could leave it plain and just have it as a curry and then you could make yourself um, um, you could make yourself either some cheese crackers and um, you know you could do like cream and an egg mixture to make a pie um, a crustless pie <laughs> sorry <laughs> you could by all means use a crust you know all sorts of things my goodness the options are endless and with each um, you know container that I show you you could do any of those things meatballs you could have it um, you could add vegetables of course if you're doing a balanced keto like me so let's move on to the next the next one same deal 500 grams of ground beef and I'm using I don't know why but I only have three of these I should really have four <laughs> But, you know, it also gave me the ideas of the different containers you can use. You can just get yourself a pack of this and then, you know, save on clean up, chuck it away. These are great because they go from freezer to microwave to oven. So I'm pretty much, if I, um, say for example, if I don't want to make meatballs with this and I want to use like a cream um, kind of, crustless pie, curried pie. I'm just going to chuck my cream, eggs, cheese in here, mix it all up and then let it bake until the meat is cooked. Um, or another option is, is to pre-cook your meat and then, you know, just for, I don't know, the assurity of having the meat cooked. Anyway, let's move on okay so we we're gonna do an italian tuscan kind of situation you said italian italiano <laughs> you, must, you must have a good uh, i'll do some more thing vision for auntie chris whenever you say something italian okay one teaspoon of dried oregano one teaspoon of tuscan seasoning um we're gonna add garlic only this time and salt and pepper to taste. And it goes, and then I'll do my garlic, one teaspoon of garlic, no, that's ginger. <laughs> I know. Where's the beef? But like with this Italian seat, this is the one. If I was gonna make any meatballs, this, is, this would be the one because then it means that all I need to do, bearing in mind that I'm not carnivore or vegetarian, I'm in between, that all I'm going to do with the meatballs then is cook it in a, um, a using a tin of crushed tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, I'm going to get Italian like meatball seasoning, me meatball, um, what do you call it? Sauce, sauce. <laughs> Why in the world is it? What am I doing? Angela says, Mel, you look lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot to wear my apron. Just it's okay. And unbelievable. Okay. So Mr. Johnson, Mr. Jojo said hi. Ah. Uh, hello. And Jojo says, LOL Wendy's commercial. I was in grammar school, maybe high school. Oh wow. <laughs> Mrs. H, Mom H says, where's the beef is Wendy's. Where's Chef the... says that old lady cracked out, but it's just really old. I think there's like, I'm trying to remember, but I was very young when this happened. It was a, a burger commercial for Wendy's and there's got three old ladies and they're talking about how big the bun is and stuff. And one old lady goes, where's the beef? <laughs> oh, wow. Jay says it's an unsaid thing, Chris. It's an unsaid okay, what, thing. What did I say that I should have unsaid? Uh, Auntie Judy says, Danielle, how nice that you're home for a bit. Yeah. Oh, did Danielle, is Danielle home? Yeah, she's home for you seven. Didn't... Home for seven. I'm getting caught up here. Danny says, home for 17 days. 
Mice currently protesting in the pantry for my intrusion. <laughs> uh, Michelle says, I like your top, Mel. Love that shade of blue. Can Thank I you. borrow it sometime, please? Who Michelle Wei says? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just like a royal blue. It's, um, it's, I don't even remember where I got it from, to be honest with you. It is that old. Um, Becky is asking, Mel, what's in Tuscan season, seasoning? Now, I bought it ready-made, and it is, it is in my, um, my pantry container, so I can't look on the box anymore. Um, I just, I was preparing for the live last night, and I was like, oh, I have Tuscan seasoning, let me get that, because... And then I smelt it, and then I was imagining all the flavors that would go with it. So I added it. But, you know, it's only optional as well. Dried Italian seasoning would work just fine without the Tuscan. Um, I think, yeah, it's definitely a different blend to Italian seasoning, I have to say. And it also smells a little different. Okay, so now we have got curry, Italian. Anna Matovic is here. Hello, Anna. I think I know Anna. You do? <clears throat> I've been do. here before. We haven't seen Anna for a while. Oh. It says ciao if we're going to be Italiano. Yes, yes. Ah, ciao, Ben. <laughs> Welcome, Anna. We'll nice to see you again. All right. All right, all right, all right. So this is, this is Moroccan. It's just, this is what it looks like. You can see that there's plenty of uh, spices in there. So I'm just doing a tablespoon so that it can, you know, cover everything. Um, well, the whole 500 grams of beef. And then I'm gonna do a garlic because garlic is always, for me, garlic's always good. <laughs> you don't have to add it. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of, so I think I will, I will add the salt um, as it's cooking because I'm not sure if this is actually salty. I could have a taste, I guess. Mm. Another half teaspoon, I think, of salt. It's not, it's not really, it's not really salty, so. Just do that. Danny says, grab the red wine, about to be a giggly video. And she says, okay, I lazy meal prep, fry 10 pounds at a time, season and freeze in one Danielle size portions. Exactly. This is, and that, just what Danielle said, everybody read her comment, that's exactly what I'm doing. And like, if you're, I reckon that this could be um, four meals actually, um, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing carnivore, you're probably going to need um, half, 250 grams of seasoned ground beef for a full meal. Um, and there again, if you're carnivore, everything's almost zero carbs, so yeah, you can have a bit more. <laughs> Uh, chef says, click that thumbs up, y'all, if you haven't already. Thanks, Chef. Yes, Thank please. you, Chef. Everybody smash that like button. Danny Mizrahi says, Danny says, Chris, you look lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, I just gave him a haircut yesterday. I, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> how about just thanks? Oh, thank you. I'm so unused to compliments. Yes, <laughs> he always gets insulted or roasted. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. I'm excited. Let's move this way. Uh, Danny says uh, it is garlic, rosemary, and oregano in equal portions equals a Tuscan seasoning. Nice. Thank you. Thank Danny, you for that. 
Andrew says, I'm often here, just don't comment much, but had to say ciao. We also say ciao in Serbia. Oh, yes. Wow. I love saying ciao. It's so exotic. Ciao. <laughs> Right. Um, oh, okay. Let's do, and of course, like I do, every time I meal prep, I do something Mexican <laughs> because I love Mexican so bad. <laughs> now, um, I was thinking that um, we could do, um, just have it like flavored ground beef and then in a taco shells. Now, I recently did the awesomest uh, taco shells uh, recently they are just they just you know they're just so perfect because they they hold their shape and um, they're crunchy and blah 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 anyway <laughs> so in this bowl I have one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of smoked paprika one teaspoon of cilantro or coriander powder and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic. Look at me reaching for the ginger again. <coughs> this one's the ginger, this one's the garlic. And you could also add um, Taco Tuesday seasoning as well. I'm ignoring you, yes. Uh, so. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, time out for low carb says hi from New York. Hello, New York. Wow. New York. Hello, Time Out. And please let us know your name so we can call you by your name. All right. Here's, here's the other options for you, right? Um, if you want to beef up your Italian um, mix, add sausage meat, Italian sausage meat to it, it's amazing. It's just amazing. I'm going to actually cook this up um, separate with just cranberries because um, I get this flavorful sweetness from um, a dish like that. It's so good. Unsweetened dried cranberries. They're like um, cooking with raisins or, sal or sultanas. They really do feel and taste like that to me, except perhaps... Um, yeah, a little bit of sweetness. Gotta have chorizo <coughs> sausage in your Mexican people. Don't skimp on the chorizo. It's high in fat. It's really um, flavor, flavor, flavorful. And um, that is something else that I would love to add to my Mexican, which is here. <laughs> All right. So. Keeping track. Yes, I'm keeping track. I'm actually going to do this now. Um, I want to. Um, I'll just use one sausage for this because you know if you cut it up into small pieces it goes a long way it spreads throughout uh, the dish and it's yeah I only ever need one for this amount of meat I love this comment uh, Becky says uh, hi Hannah this is the only live I feel comfortable enough to comment I'm an introvert Oh, I love that, Becky. Thank I you. love, yeah, that is so awesome. Becky, you're awesome. Now we love that you're here. Uh, Michelle says, Mel, did you mention just before where you got the glass dishes from? I can't remember. Was a bit distracted. Sorry, not good enough, Michelle. Kmart. Weren't they Kmart? Possibly. No, I think they were uh, actually. They are. What they have They're from there? Kmart. Well, they're unbranded, so yeah, I would say so. No, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, they're, um, they're in the glass storage section. Um, just as you enter the store, it's to the right. I it's think they lay them out all the same, but... Banco's came out, right? Yes. Yeah, well, then it's definitely came out. Oh, Michael says, Michelle, those are came out. Could have saved ourselves a lot of time. <laughs> Now, Auntie Chris says, no one but no one mixes spices like you, Mel. Your older savory dishes, beef or chicken, always hits the mark. And it's oh, Thank really you like so that. much, Auntie. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, yeah. So, I mean, and you know what? How long have we, aside from talking, I think it's fair to say that I could have prepared all of this in 15 minutes. 
and you have dinner for four nights or you know well you have four meals for two people or eight meals for yourself and you can do what you like with them and I'm going to show you a couple of um, examples for example let's just I know I wanted to cut up the chorizo but let's just put this Mexican aside for now and um, grab a leg We'll grab an egg, free range egg, and let's use the Italian Italian um, mix. And we're going to add an egg to make meatballs. Okay, so Uh, Auntie Judy says, I used my ground beef today to make a Big Mac salad. It was good. Oh, yes, yum. And Becky is asking, what's in Moroccan, in, what's in, wow, okay. What's in Moroccan in seasoning? That's me oh, messing okay. that up, not Becky. We need to, we need to look that up. Yeah. Okay, so we're, now your egg is going to help uh, your meatballs bind and stay together. So that's why we add an egg. Um, And I mean, when you have the basics of a meal already sorted, it's like, it's so easy. Um, and you can decide, you know, at what point you want to add things or you want to switch it up. You feel like having something, you feel like having a casserole, for example. You know, you, you've, your meat's already sorted. So that is so good. Anyway, let's get grab a plate. Danny says, I think uh, this is for Moroccan seasoning, ground cumin, paprika, ground coriander, ground turmeric, ground allspice, ground cloves, ground ginger, and ground cinnamon. My God, that's a lot of stuff in one season. Yeah. Michelle says, who doesn't love Mexican? You have to be crazy not to like it, lol. I agree. <laughs> I agree. One of my dreams is to one day be able to buy a taco or something from a street food truck in LA, Santa Monica. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> having, having done that, Michelle, I can tell you it is definitely an experience. Oh, Lackey's arrived. Yeah. Yes, hello people. Hello, nice of you to show you? up, Lackey, almost half an hour late, but that's okay. We're glad you're here. Do I sound suitably snarky? Yes. <laughs> Very snarky. <coughs> Danny says, be kielbasa, we love you. What? Be... No, this is... Oh, ha ha ha, autocorrect. Becky, we love you. <laughs> Danny, how do you mess up Becky into kielbasa? That's hilarious. Michelle says, sorry Chris, no more distractions. Thank you, Michelle. I'm glad you took my advice on board. Thanks, I'll check Kmart online. Yeah. Jojo says we no longer have Kmart here. They all went out of business. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I, I believe that like this, they have such a small press. There's like very few small inconsequential stores around, you know, that are Kmart. But I mean, if you think of somewhere like Walmart, but honestly, my go-to is normally Amazon for America. Um, and I think I've, yeah, I found, I found these, these containers there um, because I've used them so many times in my videos before and in live shows and people want to know where they can get them. Um, I think if you stuck a Walmart through a photocopier at about 10%, uh, with about 20% of the inventory, you get a Kmart, but it's you get the idea from the kind of style of store. Yeah. <coughs> well, I think you can get groceries and all sorts of stuff at Walmart. Oh yes. Can't have Kmart. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Look at this, people. 
This is ready to fry up. Um, I don't know, should I do it now? I'm really just supposed to be giving you ideas and such, but what do you think? Let's put this in Let's see. Well, uh, in the comments, people, should we do it now or should, should we not? And so that's the Italian. And then with the Mexican. <clears throat> Keto Simple is here. Dustin. Hello, Hello Dustin. Hello, Dustin. Do I have olives? Olives? Yes. Uh, if uh, No, you don't. I don't. No. Unless they're in the fridge. On that top thing. Oh, in the that's just rude. <coughs> the I top really big thing in the fridge. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Angie says, Mel, show us your apron. It looks so pretty. Uh, Jojo says, I have to help you because you've got meat on your hands. Oh, I, uh, I wore gloves, so... Okay, well I won't help you then. Sorry Jojo, I would have helped, but I got snubbed. These are the aprons that I want, oh, my, uh, that I'd be happy to have my name on. Um, the, the, the Printify, Amazon, everywhere I've looked, um, they, they have, they allow you, of course you can put your name on it, right? But none of them are, are pretty, so like, for me, I would rather just wait till I'm able to buy these in bulk and have them embroidered or something like that um, so that you can have a pretty apron, but I'm not prepared just to sell you, oh, buy a Cookwood Mal apron, apron, you know, just because I want it to be nice, you know, and I want to be proud of it, you know, and feel like it's good quality, which is, this one is, anyway. Ravi is here. Hello, Ravi. Hey, Ravi. How are you? <laughs> I think like subscriber number one or yes. two. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ravi is OG. How's it going, Ravi? That's the Mexican. Uh, Chef says blue light specials were the sales they had right when you were in the store. Ah, uh, must have been a Kmart. Because uh, Michael says so cops, not cops coming to arrest Chris. <laughs> Danny has got just the truck to take me to for street tacos. Nice. Blackie says, LOL, better late than never. Why, it's better late than never? Because I've said uh, thanks for turning up half an hour late. <laughs> oh, fun. At least I got in early this time. Because normally it's Blackie firing shots at me. Michelle says, yes, I like Amazon US, but can't afford the shipping. It's insane. Oh, no, that's for, it's not, that's for us, go, for us in Australia, go to Kmart. Definitely. They're reasonably priced. Um, I was actually meaning um, if somebody's in the US and they wanted them, um, they are actually on Amazon. So. And Michelle, why would you use Amazon US? Because... 99% of the stuff on there you can get on .com.au and it's either free shipping or very small shipping. You'd be surprised, but yeah. I haven't paid, like all of the stuff that we, we bought off Amazon and we buy some weird and wonderful stuff, I haven't paid shipping on Amazon for two years. We, we do, but there is actually, I tried to set up um, an Amazon store for Australia and man, I, I have to say I was quite disappointed in the lack of keto product solutions on the, I was so much so that um, I think I only found like 10 products and I thought, well, what's the point of setting up a store then if, you know, I can't even show you guys what's the best uh, out there and, you know, what's really good solutions for you. And like, I've only got like 10. <laughs> well, I was not happy. <laughs> uh, Michael says, since Chris is doing the dishes, cook them. Uh, Auntie Judy says, if you fry them now, Chris will eat them all. Ah, oh, fair point, Auntie. Mom H says, now. Well, that's three things for doing it now. Uh, 
Anna says, Michelle, if something is thirty dollars, I would have to pay at least seventy dollars more for shipping. Yeah. Yeah. International shipping is just ridiculous. I know, right? And like that's that's we find like with our um, products as well. Like even for on our website. We've done everything we can to get the shipping down, and it's still ridiculous. So, ugh. Anyway. But it'll come. It'll come on. But, you guys, I, I am actually, I know Chris is giving me dirty looks, but I am so excited. Watch the space end of April. End of April is, things are going to be um, happening. <laughs> And I'm, I am terrible at keeping a secret, so, well, no, my own secrets anyway, but, um, but yeah. And it goes quiet. Can you read some comments, please? He's in I'm, shock. I'm still stunned by the fact that you said I was giving you dirty looks. I, I was born this way. This is how I look. Born this way. If I'm looking way. in your direction. It doesn't mean I'm giving you dirty looks. It, you have that look about you. <laughs> Serial stepper. <laughs> As it was put to me the other day, I have a face that one could never tire of slapping. I, uh, uh, now, Jojo says that apron is cute. I love it. Thank you, Jojo. Susan says cute apron Mel. Jojo says I like the material too. Have to wash my hands. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll try and do a close up for you. I'll just get rid of um, my neat hands. Sorry. Becky says I like the tape from Mel. It's very French. Ah, oh, I thought it's also very um, retro, like 60s old style, which is, yeah, right up my alley. I like, I like that era. <laughs> We are cooking with gas. No, we're not. We don't have gas. No, as in we are. We we've, we've got lots of food, which is really good. And um, for me, um, I am. I find myself being kind of overwhelmed with um, my workload. So if I don't meal prep, I am just in royal trouble for the week so i'm really grateful that i can do this um so i'm just going to put that away because um i can add onion to this i can add unsweetened dried cranberries to this and have a beautiful italian flavored meal just by removing the casings or you know if you want to have it as sausage then go for it but um yeah, love that. I wanted to share, it's a pity I don't have olives now, but um, olives is my greatest substitute for black beans. Now, you're going to say, what now? What are you talking about? <laughs> but for my Mexican, um, what I do is I cut the olives, I quarter the olives, right? And then I rinse the, them thoroughly removing that salty kind of authentic olive taste when you rinse them properly the taste goes and they taste just like beans so for my mexican i will do that for my with olives uh, and have black beans black beans olives black beans with um the mexican uh, flavored meat and a bit, of, a bit of sour cream on top, avocado, cheese, yum. <laughs> I don't need anything else with that. You know, so the possibilities are endless. <laughs> now, Ravi says, you guys are doing great. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs Thank up. Thank you so much. Ruth says they never make aprons wide enough to cover the whole front of the blouse. It's true. Yes, that's true. But then do you find that you need that coverage? Um, yes, I do. I No, you wouldn't have a clue. Um, but I do find that 
most of the middle gets messed and like the sides like when I brush on so I feel like I feel like it's adequate but maybe we should take it like right over if something splatters up here yeah it will be good yes agreed Blackie says don't worry Chris catching up I'll get to you before the live is done I'll bring it on Blackie bring it on I got up very early this morning Maggie says Mel is that sausage it's Italian sausage. Right, yep, that um, answers Susan's question as well. Yes. So, where is the... I don't know. Here. So, it says... Italian, no? Carbohydrate, carbohydrates are 2 grams uh, per 100 grams. And... Jeez, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, a, like, all of this will be very little carbs. It's um, Italian styled pork sausage, gluten free, and there's 500 grams in that whole container. So, so Michelle says, yeah, I buy from here, but just saying anything from the US is insane shipping costs. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent right. So, so in. <laughs> In this container, total is 10 carbs. Now, I, I couldn't eat the whole lot. I, I know I couldn't. And especially if, even if you're using it as like a, you know, popping snack, you couldn't finish all of that. I, I couldn't. But even if you did, 10 carbs is amazing. Danny says keto mama chef jackets are my go-to. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna actually go with chef jackets because um, I am actually I wear a white t-shirt as a uniform form, right? And and it's long sleeve, but I absolutely die with heat in the summer. <laughs> and then in the winter it's actually not so great because I'm a little bit cold because it's just a thin layer. Despite we um, we have controlled air in the house, it's just I think it's the lights and me, you know, um, maybe feeling under pressure. I don't think I'm under. I feel under pressure anymore. I used to, but um, I just think I can do better <laughs> with a, a a better uniform. That's all. That Something just, like this material. Kind of sounds like you want to complain for the sake of complaining. Ma really. I think I do. Maybe, maybe there's that's, nothing like a good win. Maybe that's a woman's lot in life is that we can. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to come around to uh, the camera and then hopefully I can show you a close up of um, the material. Then you get a sense. It's not that it's really good. Um, oh, so you're there. Do you want to do the honors for me? That's why I'm setting up this. Let's move this damn light. There we go. I'm trying not to cover the camera completely, but what do you want me to show? The fabric? Yes. <laughs> not the, <laughs> not the fluff. Not the fluff. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter about the fluff. I hope I'm doing this right. It doesn't matter even if I do it right, someone will tell me I'm doing it wrong. What is that? There we go, people. Hope that's good. There we go. Right. Hi. Uh, Ruth says, uh, Chef. Uh, to Danny, chef jacket is a great idea. I'm sloppy and I fry a lot of bacon. <laughs> yeah, and bacon goes everywhere, doesn't it? So yeah, it I does. get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Becky says, Ruth, I usually get the one with adjustable straps and cinch it up. No. <laughs> Lackey says, Chris, fix your face. <laughs> uh, that's that you can't. Jojo says, haha, you were born this way. Michael's going to send cops over now to protect Mel to what? Ah, uh, autocrate. So 
I think what it says is to protect Mel from my stabbing, like my serial stabbing things. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Kelly Whitbread says, Ha ha, Chris, when people say I'm giving <clears throat> them a dirty look, I tell them it's uh, just this my face. is my face and I can't help it if they think I'm ugly. Watching them backtrack is fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try that. I would love to know Kerry in real life. She sounds like she's so much she fun. a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, speaking of Kellys and Kerrys, where is my other lovely sister? Kelly Wool. Ah. Uh, Kerry Bow. Kelly Bow. Kerry. Kelly. Kelly Bow. She Kate will. And Bo. She will let us know. Um, she normally comes back and says what happened. Um, I know she was doing moving things, but hopefully. Yes. All as well. And I just make no mistake. Moving things and especially your parents, it takes more than a day. <laughs> yeah, true. It takes more than a day. Uh, Ruth says, Becky, I do too, but I think I need a long sleeve complete coverage. <laughs> yeah, they would save on the burns. Yeah, Ruth, oh, yeah. Ruth just sounds like she gets attacked when she's cooking. Lucky says, Chris has a big chest. <laughs> which is in reference to the fact that the apron doesn't cover. Double D's. But yeah, I was going to say, I think Lucky might be talking about the fact that I am maybe in need of a bra if this continues. Uh, Danny says, chef jackets are so, so, so lifesavers and work when grilling or cooking or the campfire to protect wind sort of things. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna says, Babu, what are you talking about? Oh. Ah, Anna, 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 let me, uh, let me explain. Yeah. Lackey and I, uh, Babu, Lackey and I, have this thing it's a game. where we just it's a game they play. each other and yes. it's all in fun, there's nothing, it's, you don't have to worry. It's a game that Chris enjoys, so lots of our friends who are watching play the game with him. And it's not just, <laughs> it's not just one person, it's not just Lackey, it's just, it's Carrie, it's Kelly, it's... Oh, Chef, all the boys who attend, yeah. um, roast him. And, uh, <laughs> so if you want to insult Chris, please go ahead. He loves it. Yeah, I, I welcome it. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's actually something I need in order to be able to function properly. I, <clears throat> let's see. Thank you, says, thanks, Danielle. My arms got burnt all the time. <laughs> Ruth says, I need a lab doctor's coat. I'm telling you, I get grease everywhere. Yeah. Michelle says, oh, that is good on carbs. My favorite snags are five games carbs each. So I gave them up. Colston barbecue snags. Which brand of Italian snag do you have? Oh, I'll show you the, I'll show you the label in a sec. I just need to turn these over and then I'm good to go. Now, Susan says, Anna, I think he's making a joke. Yes. Yep, that's it. Then he says, Shift jackets are available, many manufacturers, colors, and easy wash. Can Becky you show? says, Michelle, what is snags? Becky, snags is Australian for sausage. sausage. And a bit of thing vision going on here. Uh, focus. Hello. There you go, Michelle. Pole's finest. Good quality product. Hmm. What else? <clears throat> I think. Hmm. I think I might. I think I might. Um, cook up Mexican as well um, and I think I want to do it in an, like an egg custard savory egg custard and then with um, maybe some cheese on top however we're almost out of time but the reason I want to show you the difference an egg makes with your meatballs so if I didn't, if I didn't add the egg, they'd be a big chunk of ground beef. But right now they're holding their shape. So 
do be sure that if you want to make meatballs, um, you know, um, add your egg. And I'm going to actually save all that fat. And um, I might as well... <laughs> I might as well make it now, right? <laughs> because I've got people waiting. <laughs> but I'm going to use Italian diced tom tomatoes, tomatoes, and there's how many? How many? Four hundred grams. There are seven carbohydrates in this whole can. No, am I right? I can't see, I'm so blind. Did you gesture towards me and say we have people waiting? Yes. As in I eat enough for people? You are people. Okay. You're, you're my people. So there's 400 grams of diced tomatoes in this can. Yes. Uh, average carbs per 100 grams. Yes, please. Is 3.9. So call it 4. There's 400 grams, so it's times 4. There's 16 grams of carbs in the whole thing. 16, so 16 and then 10, 26 divided by 2. So if we had, uh, we can't divide by 2 because you eat way more than me, but divided by 2, um, it'll be 13 carbs. Now, that's going to be a really filling, amazing meal for you, but I mean, I'm adding tomatoes. I think Rotel, you get a lower carb with Rotel tomatoes. Just check that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think when I last checked, they were really good carbs. But um, I just need to turn these over. Michael says, put it on, Chris. As in the apron. <laughs> uh, Ruth says, Chris, you're no Vanna White. <laughs> you know who's Vanna White? No, but I imagine it's somebody who's not good looking. Uh, she was on, um, I want to say Price is Right, but it's something like Wheel of Fortune. She was a co host on, I'm pretty sure it's Wheel of Fortune. The American TV personality. Yeah. So basically, I'm no, I'm no, <laughs> I'm no oh, better he's, white he's than the loving this. That's brilliant. Danny says, uh, Ruth, try cooking your bacon in the microwave on medium power. It comes out amazing and no smell, no mess, and so quick. Ooh. Cooking what? Cooking your bacon in the microwave. Ah, oh, right. I'm going to try that because I get spattered to hell too with bacon. Michael says, Michelle, those look... Oh, yep, they're cold sausages. Yeah, we've already covered that. Yeah. Michelle says, at Becky, it's Aussie slang for sausage. Nice. Becky says, thank you, I feel stupid for asking. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Don't, don't ever feel um, stupid, Becky. I mean, I also had to... When I moved to Australia, I also had to learn all the, the different... Uh, names that they use for things and it's it doesn't just go there's like a whole <laughs> isn't it michelle there's a whole range of shortened words like biscuits are bickies um aussies and kiwis in general like to shorten everything as much as possible yes you're very rare that you say the whole word for something Uh, oh, Grandma Green is here. Oh, uh, how are you, Grandma? Hello, Grandma. Are you babysitting today? Becky says, I did ask Siri and she didn't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard, yeah. Uh, Ruth says, I cook three pounds of bacon at a time. Nice. Oh. Grandma Green says rumors of my passing have been greatly exaggerated. What? Rumors of my passing have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> ah. 
Is that the Mexican? No. Sorry. This is the Mexican. Almost made a big mistake. Chef says, don't insult Chris, my mobile is spotty, I might miss it. <laughs> we wouldn't want you to miss it, Chef. Michael says, I think everyone needs to be kind to Chris, he needs protection. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say something about uh, only cry on the inside, but it's all good. Uh, Michelle says, awesome, thanks. I'll look those up. Italian snag on pizza is good too. And Becky yes. says, thank you, Chris, for the close up. Lackey says, Anna, we love Chris deep, deep down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> deep, 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 deep down. down deep Most down. people say, I love you from the bottom of my heart. But in Lackey's case, it's, I love you from the heart of my bottom. Dustin says, and Foster's of Australian for beer. Am I doing this right? Just, um... Yep, go again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that must be heavy. The paint is heavy by it's itself. Cool. It looks nice though. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking this. Heavy. Michael agrees with me. Uh, Lucky, yep, they're deeply buried. Uh, I'm just, what was I going to say to Dustin? Dustin says Foster's of Australian for beer. I, no, it's not though. Uh, Dustin, Aussies don't drink Fosters in general. It's what it's what people outside of Australia think that we drink. But I've never. I don't seen even an, know what Fosters. I'm Fosters. not a I'm not a huge um, alcohol drinker. I have to say, so I'm like I don't know much at all. Okay, well, Fosters is once they've made all the good beer. They get the scrapings off the brewery floor and they put that into other cans and they call it Foster's. It's terrible beer. No one drinks it. Oh. It's definitely the curry. <laughs> Kerry says, Mel, me being fun depends on what side of my tongue you are on. <laughs> oh yes, I suppose so. I suppose so, yes. Granted. I'm going to label these <laughs> so that because as you can see I'm already what I've been doing is while everyone was chatting was trying to work out which is which <laughs> but I have actually placed them in order apart from the Italian which is now being used for that are there any more comments there is quite a few uh, so chef says lol Michael I second that about the thing being deeply buried yeah. uh, Mackie says Michael, I didn't want to bruise Chris too much. <laughs> Michelle says, oh, Michelle's agreeing with me. Thank you, Michelle. I don't know any Aussies who drink Foster's. Right. Uh, Anna says, my dog woke up, heard the sound of cooking, and thinks I'm cooking something, so now he's waiting. Ha ha, I'll have to mute and just watch. Well, I was gonna, I took this picture before. Just to show everyone. This is our dog right now. Let's see if I can get this right. This is what happens when we cook. Hopefully it focuses. Our dog just turns upside down and carries right on sleeping. Oh man, this looks so good. I haven't had, I haven't done meatballs in quite some time. So I'm really, I think um, it's going to deserve a keto pasta for me. Yes, very Italian. Because oh, the tomatoes, nice. the toma tomatoes <laughs> were also Italian style. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yes. 
so yes, I think I have to make some keto pasta to um, do justice to that. Um, yeah, maybe spaghetti. <laughs> Any more comments? Yeah. It's good uh, when food makes your imagination run wild. <laughs> I'll try and catch up. Yeah. Uh, 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 Becky says, Mel, can I bake them in the oven? The last time I fried meatballs, the pan caught fire because of the splattering grease. Um, I think the same, it's going to be the same. If you, if you, if you bake them, don't go in the middle of the oven. Don't play, go towards the bottom, right? Um, in case of splatter, and then do cover with foil to um, prevent that as well, another measure. Um, you could do either, either, or if you cover with foil, you could, you know, bake them in the middle. Um, but do it anyway, cover with foil rather, because you're just gonna mess your oven otherwise. And, that's a pain to clean. <laughs> so, Michael says, Becky, have you been getting cooking lessons from Chris? Because of pan caught oh, fire. Oh, Becky's a very good uh, cook and no, baker. The fact that she said a, a pan caught fire. Michael says she must have got cooking oh, lessons. Oh, right. From yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, <coughs> Becky is an excellent. Very good. Uh, Mrs. H. Mom says, Wheel of Fortune. That's where Vanna White's from. Ah. Okay. Uh, Lacky says, Chris, you eat enough for a small village, hence Mel's use of the term people. I knew it. That's why I got in quick. That is Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune says chef. Uh, Michelle says, Dustin, yes, it's been pushed for a decade as the Aussie beer false advertising. Ah. Uh, Harold. This is a great username, Harold Ball Zach. Hello, Zach. Harold. How are you? I think I've chatted to Harold before. Welcome. You know that what that username is? No. He's changed it from Harry because I've seen him before. It was Harold or Harry Ball Zach. Oh right, 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 yeah. right. Okay. He well, says bungee smugglers, which I don't know what that's got to do with this, but uh, maybe the meatballs. No, you know what a bunch of smuggler is. Uh, Michelle says, yes, Mel, our language is kind of complex, slang anyway. Yes. Dustin says, rewatched Crocodile Dundee a few weeks ago, they were drinking fosters. Oh, maybe that's where it comes from, Dustin. Maybe. Uh, it must be a, like a paid product placement or something, because, yeah, no yes. one. Ain't no one drink that stuff. Uh, Kerry says it very well and very eloquently. Foster's is the piss we ship to the U.S. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Becky says, I'm still traumatized. I don't deep fry anything. I, don't, I mean, for me, you don't have to deep fry it. You can, like, do, do it as you want it. Like, bake it. Right. Uh, Any more comments? Yeah. We're waiting there's, for you. Sorry, there's people talking to each other as well, so I, I tend to go past those ones. Oh. Becky says, Michelle, Australia is on my bucket list to visit. Perhaps one fine day, I'll be knocking on Mel and Chris's door. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, very good. Michelle says, when I used to drink, I drank Cooper Pale Ale, South Aussie beer, and also Corona. Love Corona. Right. Victoria Bitter is also a disgusting beer, Chris. LOL. Oh, don't remind me. VB, Victoria Bitter, they uh, sponsored uh, the Auckland Warriors at one stage. And there were these insane deals on everything to do with Victoria Bitter. So we were all drinking it, but it's foul. Absolutely foul. I don't ever drink here. No, I right. have, I have never, actually. Anna says, ah, ha, 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 ha. I think that's to the picture of yes. the uh, Loki. Michelle says, OMG, your pooch is so cute. Thank you. Chef says, when I drank, it was hard liquor. That's 
good man tip. That's pretty much what I do. And um, I was the same um, because, you know, like before keto, I was not yo-yo dieting, but trying every diet. So I used to stick to things like vodka, cranberry, you know, things that are actually really low carb, so your white spirits. Uh, I believe um, you do get low carb beer now if that takes your fancy, but uh, before, like 10 years ago, oh, they would bloat your stomach and they were carb heavy. So, yeah. Mm, I'm sorted. Uh, Michelle Lukowski says, I'm sure Michelle was here before, but says, hi, Mel and Chris, I'm late again. Unacceptable, Michelle. That's two people who've been late today. What is going on? You're we're... waxing lyrical there. Yeah. Can I know what Michelle's trying to say? Michelle says, I'm late again, so I'll watch the beginning later. And she loves your shit. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Uh, Lackey says, LOL, Chris, your dog looks like what you would be doing while Mel is cooking if you weren't videotaping. Probably. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I just tend to lay down and let the smell of and then... Do the dishes afterwards. Oh, now this is, I think this is done. Yeah, so good. Uh, Anna says, my dog is pretending to sleep, but little before Envy just appears here. Only one is doing that, others don't even know what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Uh, up a bit if you can. Up. And tilt towards me. Yeah, that's good enough. Not much more. Ah. Yeah. Gorgeous! Yes. And any more comments? Uh, Anna says, uh, Babu, you hate her. <laughs> yes, good, I, good. I think I've got someone I on my team. I think that was the thing. Someone's thing. on my team. Anna's on my team. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Anna. You can help me roast everyone else. Kerry says, Dundee is where we get put another shrimp on the barbie, which is not what we say here. Yeah, exactly. Everyone outside of Aussie says, put another shrimp on the barbie. That's their imitation of an Australian. But it, you know what? We, we don't say it here, but it is a good way to practice an Australian accent. It is, but because it annoys you, Aussies. I, I, I know. <laughs> we, don't, we don't actually say shrimp. In fact, I don't think I've ever said it. Mostly it's prawns that you have. Anywho, <clears throat> uh, Danny Mizrahi says, can you open up the containers and give us a quick synopsis of what it is and what's in it? Um, check the description box. Because look how organized I am now, Danny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've, I've uh, in an hour and that is worth talking. So I'm going to cut it down to say, 40, 30 minutes. You could do all this and be done. Have a meal for your family and yourself or your, you know, however you, however you live, you can have the meal ready for right now and be stacked for, you know, the week or whenever you don't feel like cooking much or you short on time. I mean, do it people, do it. <laughs> we let me know if you want to do a chicken one and we are running late so we really should be signing off <laughs> is there any other comments uh, a couple but it's just general sort of backwards and forwards uh, auntie kathy is here oh hello auntie kathy says hello a bit late than never i really need to, to issue a i think a, a fine about <laughs> punctuality <laughs> but hey nice to see you kathy uh, Mom H says, love you guys, another great show, thank you. And that is, oh, Michael says, ha, ta ta. <laughs> well, maybe we should do uh, different meets, um, you know, periodically or on occasion. Because if you do this, you will be stacked to, um, you know, for the weekend, just, you know, if, if your family. For example, if your family isn't on keto or you live with people who don't, you could make a, a regular pasta and have your keto pasta and that will serve like whoever you want, you know, and so forth and so forth with all these dishes. 
thank you so much for watching guys we will see you real soon and hope you enjoy the rest of your what's left of your weekend Stay, stay safe and be well. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>